Thinking back in our relationship early on, it was easy to tell that we were on game. We faced our biggest challenge in the very beginning of our relationship when I lived at Grand Valley and you were back home. Cannot thank you enough for all those times you were there for me. Through the tough weekends when I had to study throughout the evenings and I would call to wake you up on my drive home. Five years ago when you came up to me at the Z and asked me out on a date, never would I have imagined that we would be here on our wedding day. Before you came into my life, I didn't know what true love felt like, what it was, or if it even existed. Fortunate for me, you gave true love a true meaning. You have allowed me to feel and experience it beyond what I could have ever imagined. And you have taught me how to love. I remember Justin the first night Alexis and I went to Casey's because she was going to meet Justin, <laughs> right? And it was that back when they still had the bocce ball court. And so she went up to the fence, Justin went up to the fence, Dad went up to the bar to give them their space, and here we are today. So it was a few years into their relationship before I met Justin. But Alexis always raved about the guy, even though he just played video games most of the time. How many of you at your table have taken a look at that little board on the table and wondered what in the world it is? Alexis challenged her kids to decide what love meant to them. And so what you're wondering what those little things are on your board in there, that's what her kindergartners defined as love. I'm so happy this day is here and we get to celebrate our everlasting love for one another. I truly do mean it when I say I love you always and forever. And today is the day our forever officially begins. Growing up, Justin was like having a second brother. We ended up going to Crosstown Rival Schools, and the Big Reds just weren't very good at hockey, to be honest with you. However, Justin will be very quick to remind me that he was part of the Big Red team and it didn't beat me once during his high school career. First time in 16 years, right, guys? He took so much time to understand Alexis in her life. And I remember one time she was so excited to go see this little girl at an event that she was going to. They had, the, her and this little girl had so much in common. It's something that Alexis doesn't relate to anybody else about. And she told me that her family was going, but she told Justin, eh, don't worry about it, you'll be bored. It's not a big deal. But Justin insisted. He went and he was very excited to meet this little girl, learn everything, be part of the clan. So that's when I knew when Alexis was Justin's forever. Justin, it has been such an honor to be your best man, and I really appreciate the opportunity. Now I'd like to talk about Alexis. Alexis, you look absolutely stunning in your dress. So Alexis and I have been friends for just shy of about 20 years. We met in sixth grade, and since then I haven't been able to get rid of her. She's just still here.
tough. There's some people that are looking down from above that couldn't be happier for you two today if they would have been here because they loved you both tremendously. I knew you were strong during our first year together, but it was when I moved home that I began to realize you're one of the toughest people I've ever met. It takes a special kind of person to be able to push through the health issues you've gone through, and I strive to be as strong as you every day. You are my shining star, true love, and best friend. Thank you for loving me in a way I never thought was possible and for accepting me for all that I am. Today we say I do, and I can't wait to spend forever together. I now pronounce you Justin and Alexis as husband and wife. Justin, you may now kiss your bride. I cannot wait to see what the future holds for the two of you. I wish you much, much happiness. So I do just want to have everybody raise a glass and help me congratulate the new Mr. and Mrs. Hansen.